We used to have 19 million manufacturing jobs. Now it's 13 million. And in the meantime, the workforce grew. But that's because <laughs> these are uh, jobs that uh, went to automation to a large extent. And to the extent that they went to low-income places for the labor-intensive parts, mm -hmm. what they did was make the rest of U.S. manufacturing more efficient. Now Trump apparently wants to push U.S. workers into lower-wage jobs that are the low-wage, labor-intensive, relatively low-skill yeah. jobs abroad. Is that going to raise American living standards? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So that's another rationale. Since it doesn't make sense, it's not fair for you to ask me why. And I'm joking, <laughs> of course, because it, there is no why fundamentally. The why is in Donald Trump's head. Yeah. And, you, you know, uh, America does many strange things economically. America brought you the 2008 financial crash. Uh, that was a bad idea of the U.S. government that on one day on February 14th, uh, I'm sorry, on uh, September 14th, uh, 2008, the U.S. pushed a major investment bank into a kind of forced bankruptcy rather than merging it. 